Ugh, I like Nick, but oh, these romances are so sweet. Well, look who's hitting it off and getting along. You know, I actually think she's starting to let go of the disease that is Nick. Young love. Must be nice. <laughs> so you're really gonna sit there and I like brunch was it made up by women just so they can drink mimosas all day? Okay, first of all, men go to brunch too. And secondly, what's wrong with mimosas? They're delicious. You say so. So you wouldn't want to go to brunch with me? I've been trying to breakfast, brunch, lunch, <laughs> and dinner with you for a while now. Well, my calendar is wide open. Seriously, was I wrong last night? I was just trying to have a little fun, lighten the mood. I didn't think Josh was gonna take offense to it. But then again, if the shoe were on the other foot, I probably would take offense to my actions too. Ugh. I wasn't trying to be an asshole. You know what, next time I see him, I'm just gonna say sorry. It's nothing we can't move past. Protecting my peace for so long. A little too good, now I'm so low. Watching reruns of the same shows. Almost everybody on my no show. Even with green lights, I don't go. Never been sure, no, I don't know. Good morning. I wanted to give you an update on the Arrow Project. Thank you to Royce and Joy. Our clients are beyond satisfied with the work we've presented and we'll be moving forward with our marketing plan. Now, due to their success, I wanted to announce that Royce will be in charge of our Nexus project and Joy will be in charge of our Linux project. They will be in charge of forming their teams and formulating their strategies. All right? That's it. Boss, I was looking for you, man. I don't know what to do. They keep calling you both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, superstar. No, you're the superstar. You know I couldn't have done it without you. We should celebrate. You know we will. Hey, can I talk to you about that? Mm -hmm. Congratulations, man. Congratulations. Thanks, man. So, uh, any ideas on who you're thinking about adding to your team? Bro, I literally just got the position two minutes ago. Just relax. The thing is, I was hoping we'd come to some sort of agreement. You know, I can't take your position. Clearly, the boss himself just promoted you, but I was hoping to be your number two. <laughs> Now, why would I do that? I was hoping you was going to ask that. You see that? You, you see that right there? Right there? That? That looks like fraternization to me. Hmm. I hope we have an understanding. Yeah. Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it. We with the subbing in the club with it. Please none of the talks I heard enough of it. Like what you gonna do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this. Don't talk about it. Really on the move, on the map, never slip. Keep your hands to your lips. Don't talk about it. Hey. Hey. What are you doing here? Looking for you. Oh, how did you know I would be here? Tasty Tuesdays. Oh, yeah. So what's up? Look, I don't know what happened the other night. Well, morning, but uh, wanted to find you and let you know I didn't mean to offend you. I was trying to understand you. So, you know, I used to be the girl who was all in all the time, pouring myself into relationships only to have them just fall up in my face. So I decided to do me myself and my sexuality and dare a nigga to say something about it right because they do it all the time besides I feel like they only like the whole no strings attached type of situation 
and I was doing fine, you know? And so you came along and then I had to wrestle with my feelings and I really like you. I like you too. That's why I want to take things slow and see where this goes. I know it's cheesy, but it's the truth. I would just know. <laughs> when we do do the do, <laughs> I want you to know it's about how I feel about you, and not about the do itself. The do? You know you can say sex, right, Gary? I know. It sounds better. Thanks for the information. No problem. See you guys next week. All right. Hey, Pastor Mike. Hey. Great lesson tonight. Good. I'm glad you liked it. Um, I was wondering, can I ask you a question sure off topic? Sure thing. Um, so what is your opinion on people who practice their faith differently? You mean like Catholics and Baptists? No, I mean, I have this friend, mm -hmm. and he's very strict and disciplined mm -hmm. when he comes to living out his faith, and I've kind of feel like a bad Christian. <laughs> a bad Christian. Is there such a thing? I just find myself wondering, mm -hmm. am I doing something wrong? Like, why don't I feel as convicted? Listen, the thing is, God calls all of us. Sometimes to different paths. Sometimes he calls us at different times. Me as a pastor, there are some things if I were to engage in, they will be frowned upon, even if socially they are considered to be okay. But, you know, that's not the standard across the board. The thing that you have to ask yourself is, what did God call you to do? You have to understand that you know God, he may be working in that person's life to help them change their life decisions. Understand that God, he deals with all of us individually. Mm -hmm. The only thing that we can do is pray for people, meet them where they are, and you know, if this person is helping you to rethink some of your life decisions, then maybe God is really challenging you to do more. So listen, at the end of the day, don't push people away who are challenging you to be a better you. I can't feed them both. I used to think that they needed me. I found out that it wasn't true. I used to think that they needed me. Person play nice with the crew. I used to think that they needed me. I found out that it wasn't true. I used to think that they needed me. But Lord, all they really need is you. All they need is you. I could swing the sword and watch the blood pour ridiculous. So I could pray to Lord that he heals all this brokenness. If all I'm gonna do is add fuel to the fire. Hey guys, we need to wrap up the setup, okay? Because our attendees are coming soon. Hey! So cute. Great. Ah! Oh, I know, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, we did that. I mean, okay. it does look really great. Hey, y'all. Hey. Hey, uh, where do you want to put this box? Um, actually, you can keep it to that over there. Oh, uh, by the way, mm -hmm. print talk great. Okay, tell Kiki to keep her hands to herself. I'm not in the mood today. <laughs> She's gonna learn today. Okay. What? What? Okay, so you got yourself a little helper. Right. Santa sent me a little elf or whatever. Well, put us to work. Where do you need help? Uh -huh. Okay, well, um, right now, just walk around and see who needs extra hands. Oh, okay. Yeah, where's Brittany? I don't know why. She mm. just had to do a quick presentation for her mom. Hmm. Okay. Okay. See you. See you later. Now, I wouldn't have chosen these looks for Spike Love, but I like what you guys came up with. Taking his edgy tones with his usual outfits and giving it a subtle, softer look, which is an idea I think can compliment him. 
Now, I have never seen anyone style him like that before, which can give us an edge up on the people he's worked with in the past. Unfortunately, I already hired another stylist. Well, why would you set up this meeting if you already had the position filled? Re respectfully, respectfully. You both wanted to show that you can do it. That you can put aside your differences and produce excellence. And you did. And you wouldn't have known you did if I hadn't reviewed your materials and, and give you the thumbs up. See, most people won't even let you back in their doors after pulling a stunt of a presentation that you both did. We appreciate your feedback, and we're sorry we let ourselves get in the way of this great opportunity. And we hope that we haven't ruined any future opportunities to work with you again. Sit. Now, I know what it's like to be young and aspiring. But fortunately for you, I'm a believer of second chances. You put in the work to get my attention, and I admire that. Now this opportunity might be gone, but there'll be plenty of other jobs in the pipeline. You're talented. So, I'm going to put you in my roster for go-to stylists. <laughs> Conditionally. And when a project presents itself, and I feel like you can excel in it, I'll give you the opportunity to show that. But hear me clearly, conditionally, I am a believer of second chances. And this is that. You fail, and I wash my hands. We promise we will not let you down. Oh, thank you, thank you. I can't believe that just happened. Thank you so much for giving me a second chance. And we work on the project. You know, you're not so bad. You weren't too bad yourself. Well, all right, take care. All right, till next time. Well, actually, wait, you want to get like a celebratory coffee or something? Um, thanks for the offer, but right now I'm kind of just focusing on me. Okay, self-care. All right, all right. I can't argue with a woman trying to protect her mental. I'll see you around now. All right, take care. If you got my number, don't ask me, because baby, I'm on high and need it. I'm on high and need it. So, what's been going on with you? I heard your presentation with Joan went well. Yep. Um, actually, if it weren't for Paul, I'd probably be looking for a brand new job. He's such a sweet guy. I can't believe I never noticed before. So, things between you two are going well. I mean, everything's all still relatively new, but I mean, it's cool. And we're going on a first date tonight. Okay! Oh, yeah. <laughs> you hey, y'all. Hey, girl. Hey. How's the presentation go? We knocked that shit out the park, but Joan hired someone for the position already. Damn, girl, I'm sorry. No, actually, it's okay. Since we redeemed ourselves, she's given us a second chance and she's putting us on her preferred list of stylists. Yes. That is a definite win. <laughs> Looks like Josh's church showed up for the community event. Yes! <laughs> hey. Oh, hey. What's with all the boxes? Handing out Bibles and study plans. You know what folks are. Okay, a little banter. We're good. Um, I just wanted to clear the air about the other night. It was wrong of me to cross the boundary that you clearly set. And in an attempt to have fun, I crossed the line. I'm really, really sorry. It's okay. I get it. Uh, Want to talk about it a little later? Yeah, of course. Do you think? You see? A little communication and we're back like we never left. Um, I definitely love the earrings. And I actually bought a purse too. Oh, hey, nice. Nice. Back. Hey. hey. So, who was that fine specimen over there? Josh. Oh, Joshy. Oh, no. Huh? No. Okay, Christian Mingle. You see, God is looking out. <laughs> so, things are going good between you guys? We'll see. You already see it. Hey. Hello, Jackson. <laughs> 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 
Damn, nigga, late lunch? I had a work issue. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go get some ice cream. Y'all want anything? I'm good. Ooh. Can I get a milkshake? No whipped cream. Put a little bit of Sprite. There she mm -hmm. is. Sprite. Milkshake. Can I get a ice cream? Nah, you good. I know how deeply connected you are to your health. I wouldn't want to mess that up. You know what? I think I think you guys should just have sex already. And, you know, it'll release some of the tension. We're always at each other's lives. A uh, bunch of those water jugs fell off of Mr. Anderson's truck. Please don't tell me that's the water donated from the spring falls. That's the water for the whole event. Mice, I'm going to need you. <laughs> we don't have anything to drink. Well, I'm telling you that there ain't no other way. Pack your bags and then you will go away. I'm not going to be begging you. Can we talk? Talk to your new girlfriend. She's not my girlfriend. Lucky her. Come on, Britt. I love you. So you love me. Of course I do. You know that. Our relationship transcends past just being friends and beyond all this other bullshit. So let's be together. Right here, right now. Out in the open. Exactly. Love isn't hiding behind closed doors to have a relationship. Love isn't parading another woman around me, calling it business or friendship. Love isn't making me feel like we're invested in something only to find out you're doing what you want to do. You don't love me. You just don't want to lose me. But I'm tired of playing this game with you. Tell that nigga cut it. Tell that nigga cut it. Tell that nigga cut it. How are you? What do you think about these earrings? Too boho? Oh girl, they're fabulous. Hey, so, um, you're totally over Nick, right? Girl, yes, fuck him. And I don't know, you'd be okay if you happened to run into him? I mean, I'd rather never see his trifling ass again, but I mean, I'm not God. I can't stop him from living. <laughs> That's great. He's here with another girl. What? Yeah, this is really nice. Hey, ladies. Hi. Guys, any help at all, just let me know, okay? Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, polite. It's a little. It's all right. It's like a picnic table. Why did you tell me you invited Nick to your community event? He's here? With who? I didn't even know that nigga had a job. Okay, well, he's over there setting up a tent with some girl and some students. Okay, well, this is a community event. So the community came out. One. Two. I mean,. We sent out invitations to all the local schools. Now, I don't know what his business is with them, but it's none of mine. And three, why do you even care? Over here, press like a panini. Yeah, miss, I'm trying to get up under a new mat. Listen, I don't have time for this. Ladies, I have some people to thank, so if you'll excuse me. Nick? Nicholas? She didn't mean it like that. She's thinking about her then. What? No, she never gonna be over Nick. Well, why you didn't stop caring? Y'all came over here. She you ran over here, you stop her. Man, you go off the Monica. I asked Josh if we could get coffee after the event. It feels good to come back here and have coffee with him. It's like our little place. Hey. Hey. What's up?
Who are you here? You look stunning. I know. State your business and go. Have a date. A date, huh? What do you want, Nicholas? I mean, I saw you at a community event today. Realized I haven't seen you in a minute. You haven't, remember? You walked out of that same door weeks ago and never looked back. We should repeat those same actions now. Oh, 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 why are you acting like this? All right, all right, look. I came by because I wanted to see you. I mean, I got some good news too. I accepted a position as a coach at a high school. Wow, C congratulations. Um, honestly, um, that's great. I'm glad you found something that really aligns with your passions. It's just a stepping stone for now. Who knows where it'll go, but I felt really bad when I couldn't share it with you. <laughs> I'm sure you had other people to share the news with. What's that supposed to mean? Nick, don't pretend like you've been sitting around crying over me. You were never invested in this relationship for real, and then you ghosted me, probably for whatever girl Taryn saw you with. In fact, that's probably the same girl I saw at the community center with you. Who knows with you? Either way, it doesn't really matter. I could care less what you're doing with yourself these days. Ouch. That's kind of harsh. Now, if you are done, I'd like you to leave. So you're telling me you don't miss me at all? I just wanna go back to how it was. Lay in each other's arms all day. Sammy gives just so? The event went well, right? Yeah, it was good. Were you guys able to hand out Bibles? <laughs> Kept telling them people use apps now, but you know, we had a few takers. I mean, even my mom used an app and she's pretty old school. <laughs> so, I wanted to continue the conversation we were having earlier. Again, I'm truly sorry for the other night. I probably, I had way too much wine. I really gave it some thought and I realized that the way that you walk with Christ was making me feel like uncomfortable because I know I could do better. I know I can live out my faith in different ways and in different areas of my life and I really wanted to challenge myself to make those changes and you were the catalyst for that so thank you. <laughs> so the thing is I don't think we're a good match. Look, you're great, honestly. And I'm glad you want to grow in your faith. But it seems like the decisions I've made for my life aren't the ones you'd make for yours, and that's fine. But it seems like they would get into the way of the type of relationship we're both looking for. like you already made up your mind. This isn't a, a terrible thing. We could move forward as friends, still hang out, talk. Look, you're a dope individual. If I'm so dope, then why are you ending things? Okay. I get it. Friends it is.